Martin Brundle followed uh, Michael Schumacher home here 10 years ago. Martin down among the scrum down there. And Martin, I guess you dismiss your old rival's chances at your peril. Yeah, Jim, thanks very much. Look at these trophies standing up here. They're just about the only thing that's lonely on this grid. The first three there and this little patch will be the most important in the world of motorsport today. Tomorrow morning, it'll be a regular pavement. People will be going to work here. That's the fascination of Monaco. I want to try and go and nail uh, a, an interview with Jano Trulli if I can. He's at the front of the grid and uh, you can see him down there. We just saw his lap a little earlier on, didn't we? There was just something quite uh, amazing. And I'd like to get a quick word from him if we get half a chance. They're going to have to really fight our way in here. OK, sorry. Janu, quick word for ITV. Right, we'll go. He's going to go off to uh, do what he needs to do. So uh, we'll try and catch him on the way back. Unfortunate timing there. I wonder if Jensen is uh, also around. Here we go. We've got to find out. Jensen, Jensen. You nervous? Not that nervous. Excited, yes. Yeah, I would be seriously nervous. Now, look, these Renaults are a bit quick starting over here, but normally this side of the grid's better away, isn't it? Yeah, well, if, if it is, I think we, we should slot into place quite nicely um, because the Renaults do, do seem to be better off the line. But if it's better here, I should be able to slot into the second quite nicely, which I'd be pretty happy with. Now, there's no way Michael Schumacher should win this race today. You guys cannot let him win this race. You've got the tyres, you've got the speed, you've got the confidence. Uh, their race pace is just staggering this week. Um, They've been able to get four or five very, very quick laps together in, in their practice runs, so they're going to be there. It'll be exciting, though. You don't have to work for it. All right, good luck. And uh, are you going to have to try and cut Alonso off right from the word go? I might. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we'll look forward to seeing that. Now, Bernie was on the grid with some uh, quite interesting people. I have no idea where he is. Who on earth are all these people? It's incredible. Where do they come from? How do they get a pass onto the grid? Uh, uh, excuse me. Hello. How are you? Hi. Uh, good. How, who are you? Uh, nobody. Uh, okay. That was good then. You see, that proved my point, doesn't it? I don't think that was nobody, actually. Uh, I've got a sneaky feeling. Now, where is Bernie? He's not always that easy to see, is he? He's quite a little fella. And uh, oh, here's, here's a top man. Mick Dewin. Mick. Five times world uh, motorcycle champion. Who's going to win the race today? Uh, I'm not sure. The, the, the Renaults are looking really strong, but uh, I really, I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I could try and uh, lie about the whole situation, but I've got no idea. But if anyone's going to beat a Ferrari this year, I think this is one of the best places to try and do it, for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Do you really care who's going to win it? Because it's just going to be a great race, I think. Yeah, no, I'm going to head back and uh, sit with these guys over here and watch the race and just enjoy it like everybody else. So. See you later. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Is there anybody got any idea where Bernie is on this grid? I'm sure I really wanted a quick word with him, but we're not going to find him. I think he's obviously gone down the back. We'll scoop him up as he returns to the front. Let's see who else we can find. Excuse me, who are you? We're wondering who, who's on the grid today? I'm uh, from Germany, but I'm living here in Monte Carlo. I'm a best friend of um, Mr. Michel Ferry, yeah. and uh, so that's why I'm on the grill here. Uh, Mr. Ferry, as you know, is the race director. Uh, OK, so we're all one because we all want passes for next year's Grand Prix, so we can get a, get a few more on. Right, I'm hearing that uh, we are down. Hi, Mohammed. We're hearing that uh, Bernie is heading towards us. He is uh, near DC's car, down the bottom of the field there. Hi, Simone. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, I'm looking. Where's, uh, he's back there. There we go. Now we're going to have to find out. Bernie, how are we doing? Surely these Muppets are not going to let Michael win. What, what, who's going to let Michael win? They know these other Muppets, they can't let Michael win today, can they? Oh, it's going to be a good race. I'm not too sure Michael's going to win, and I'm not too sure the three on the front are going to win. Yeah. I think it'll be a different result. Mr. Abramovich, we, uh, we saw his floating uh, waterproof caravan, I think, earlier in the show. Um, Mr. Uh, Abramovich, is he interested in coming into Formula One? Asking me or asking no, I'm him? I'm asking you to ask him because I believe he does. 
in, just to see, just to see, <laughs> that, just to watch what's going on. Yeah, well, we'd really like to have you here. You enjoying it? Your first time uh, on the grid in Monte Carlo? Monte Carlo. Okay, well, have a have a great day. We'd like to see you in Formula One. Okay, and it's uh, yeah, well, well done getting him a pass, Bernie. And uh, back to Jim then. Thanks very much indeed, Martin. Uh, one or two of those Formula One bosses would be on all fours crawling to Mr. Avramovich to try and get him into Formula One, I would think. Let's get final thoughts from you first.